Good afternoon everyone. This is my 1984 Mercedes-Benz 300D and so this is the later type of engine. Let's see how I've converted it to run on waste vegetable oil. Uh, single tank system, not heated in the tank but here we have an outlet from the block which is all the coolant for the radiator, the heater core and everything and I've tapped in before it goes into the heater core so you don't have to have the heaters on inside the car for this to work. This is three quarter, these two sides are three quarter and this side is five eighths. This tea is available from a store in Melbourne and I'll throw a link up. Now we follow this tube all the way, this is where the hot water comes through. So I have an on and off valve here. This is 58 to ball valve to 58 elbow piece to a male to male inside a 60, pl 60 flat plate, plate heat exchanger which I've made a custom mount and color matched it to the car and so this is the inlet for the hot outlet for the hot Outlet for the hot comes around, goes above the radiator, tied in. I've got to get some better way of fastening that. And down into the return line, which goes up and into the water pump. This line here is the return for the uh, for the, whoop, the heater cores, for the heaters inside the car. And if you follow that out onto here, you can tell it follows here. So it's definitely the outlet. And she's working pretty well. Like I said, three quarter inch, three quarter inch, five inch. And I've used brass tees. Like I said, I'll throw a link up to where I purchased them in Melbourne. And whenever you do any work, make sure you put something over here so you don't get any water on the uh, electrical components, which there's not much, I'm afraid, in this car. So, and then we have our fuel outlet from the tank coming in through a f small fuel filter. These fuel filters are uh, only a few bucks each and they work quite well at stopping any fat getting into the uh, engine. But I treat mine and take all the fat out pre before. But this is just in case uh, for any normal uh, filtering of particles or anything from the tank. So yeah, I usually get say 500 to 1000 Ks out of one of these little babies. So it does pretty well. And down there, this is the inlet for the fuel, which matches the outlet for the hot water. So they crisscross in between and get maximum amount of heat transfer. So inlet for the fuel goes through, outlet for the fuel, down here into the uh, lift pump. And make sure you bleed the system properly. Anyway, so out from the lift pump, back into here. Yeah, this is actually feeling quite warm. And I've only had the car idling for a, a few minutes, so yeah. And then out into the injection pump and all the rest of it. And she's running quite well. Tonight's the test, see how she runs while I take it to work. Alright, cheers people. Bye.